guys, welcome to this Monday edition of the show where I report latest in gaming news. This is the first Monday edition of the show for 2015, so if you guys are going to enjoy today's video, make sure you smack that like button real good. Anyway, just before we do jump into the gaming news, today's show is brought to you by FIFAUTstore.com. If you guys use the code CHAMP20 at the checkout, you will get 20% off your coins, and on top of that, you'll be automatically entered in to win a giveaway which is worth 1 million coins on Ultimate team which is just awesome. Now this chat 20 code is very limited so you have to be quick, you have to use it fast and uh, yeah good luck to you guys out there fifutstore.com use the code chat 20 it is linked down below but anyway now let's get into the show and we're back to the story of Lizard Squad. I thought I wasn't going to get back to this but this is actually getting sort of interesting. Personally I was getting bored of it in late December just about a week ago. About a week ago yeah. And the reason for that is because the story wasn't really going anywhere and that's until now. Because as you may or may not know a few days ago a couple of the guys from Lizard Squad were arrested however now the FBI is putting a lot more resources into their investigation they're really cracking down and they're trying to get to the bottom of Lizard Squad so that means whoever they're arresting at this point in time may get away for now but they will get them back and on top of that the FBI wants to get every single member of the Lizard Squad but that seems pretty difficult because apparently they aren't doxable personally I'm not sure where this is gonna go but I'm excited I'm sitting on the roller coaster it's gonna be a pretty interesting ride and I just can't wait to see who's going to win in this situation. Is it going to be the FBI or the Lizard Squad? I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think is going to happen. But anyway now, let's get to our next gaming news report of today's show. And it's that some awesome Batman Arkham Knight shots have been released. Yep, that is right. Some new screenshots for Batman Arkham Knight have come out and they look just incredible. However, one thing I'm scared of is if the environment in the game is going to be that active. Hopefully this one nails that and with these amazing graphics and the gameplay and everything and the storylines. It's just going to be an awesome game. So yeah, the new screenshots for Arkham Knight are linked down below. But anyway, let's get to our final gaming news report of today's show. And it's some news that could possibly be looked at as sad news. Because Aliens, Colonial Marines, and Alien vs. Predator were both removed from Steam overnight. Now the reason for this is due to a licensing issue or something along those lines. However, the reason I don't see this as completely sad news is because, well, I really don't know if anyone was going to buy this game. Or should I say these two games? Then again, it is kind of sad news and I guess that's what happens when digital distribution is one of the big things in our gaming industry these days. And yeah, I guess that's that. But anyway, um, yeah, that is it for the gaming news today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Now, time for the Grill Man question. Thanks for that. Okay, guys, the question is, what was the first game where you saw the graphics and they just blew your mind? So, put your hands in the comment section down below and you can have the next show over to today's show. Make sure you smack the like button because I'm Champ Chong Max. It's friendly here. Blah, blah, blah.